Hey guys, welcome to my channel Open to Code and today we will be learning about software development life cycle. I have chosen this as the first video of my channel because it will create a route among students how a software is developed in an industry company or an organization. What all stages a software has to pass through to be made from a starting position to a finished product and how uh, through this uh, software development life cycle the devops branch was created uh, how the devops is a successor of the agile methodology and how the agile methodology is a successor of waterfall methodology so we'll be uh, learning a lot in this video stay tuned and let's get started so let's get started by knowing what all things we'll be going to learn in this video. So we'll be learning about software development life cycle for sure. Uh, we'll then move towards the evolution of SDLC. So the short form of software development life cycle is SDLC. Then we'll move towards the different methodology used to develop the software at the time of 90s and how it develops and then we move towards the DevOps field. So we'll be seeing how this procedure was made. Okay, so then uh, we'll learn how a company or organization works to develop a software. What all different software these companies use to uh, develop their softwares or to fulfill the need of the client which needs any website, any application or other stuff. Um, and then we'll uh, move towards the CICD part which is the continuous integration and uh, continuous uh, delivery part and the main aim of this channel is to like provide the practical knowledge about what happens inside an industry or, or an organization. Mm, main reason I have made this video is to get to know uh, what happens inside an industry, how all the procedures are made to make it from a starting product to a finished product and yeah let's move forward and move towards the second page of the software development uh, life cycle so this is how a software development life cycle looks like which include the planning phase the analysis phase the designing phase and the development phase so these four part combines to the whole development part Okay, then we come to the testing and integration phase and the maintenance phase. So to make it easy to understand, I have just made it divide into uh, different steps and into different branch of how uh, the in older days, uh, the branch used to be divided into the development part and the operational part. So before understanding mm, the software development life cycle, I just want all of you to have a look about the conversation between a client and an IT manager, how a client requires a Facebook type of mm, website and how the conversation goes. So let's have a look at it. So here we have uh, two characters mm, right here. These are the two character. Let's name the first character as the client and the second character as the manager. So the client comes to the manager and ask about, uh, can you please create a Facebook uh, type of website which would through which I can sell my all the groceries items and this COVID pandemic. Let's take a hypothetical situation. Uh, so the manager would ask the employers that uh, will they uh, be ready to create such a product and what all uh, how and when they would be um, giving the final product to the client. So like let's uh, again take a hypothetical situation that the employees says that we would be uh, finishing with the product in six months. Um, so the manager then again uh, uh, move to the client and says that yeah we can create a product in six months. Okay, so and what all budgets and um, would be required and all these stuffs uh, will get all uh, we towards the SRS, which is the software requirement specification, which uh, is actually the requirement for uh, all the project uh, softwares, we can say all the budget and all of these comprises in the SRS, software uh, requirement specification. So, uh, so after the whole talk and uh, like taking the deal of like we'll be creating a Flipkart type of app, then uh, we move towards the software development lifecycle, how the employees get started to it. 
so uh, after the project assignment the whole uh, development team comes forward and uh, create a plan of how they move forward to create such a website and uh, the designing team would create the ui ux designing which is the user interface designing uh, through different software such as figma gimp we use canva and all uh, and all other uh, ui ux designing software uh, so after designing the software they'll move towards the coding part which is the developer part where they'll develop um, um, uh, the code and then uh, redirect it to the local host okay so then uh, after the whole development part they'll then uh, post it to the github so just for now uh, for those who don't know about the github what is github so it's just uh, uh, we can say our project holding uh, platform okay where we can post all our uh, like repositories and uh, just uh, and this is done by a tool called git which is a, a version control system um, which actually uh, as we know that whenever we develops a, develop a uh, software we uh, modify it again and again so we have different versions of it so this is what git um, take care of so then our uh, the project moves towards the building phase and in the building phase the project is run in the local system and then take care about how whether the project is running uh, right or not whether the project is built correctly or not so then uh, we move towards the testing phase where all the testing stuff goes so in the testing phase uh, there are many tests done such as the unit testing the unit testing we move towards the alpha testing beta testing we move towards the what we say integration testing integration testing we move towards the uh, the system testing the performance testing and all this stuff so i can create a new video on testing uh, so all of you who wants to uh, get to know about what all testing are done uh, to make a software or a software has to pass to the different different testing just comment down below so then uh, we'll um, move towards the then after um, the software has uh, run all the tested test uh, and if the, all the tests are correct it moves towards the quality assur assurance so this is the phase where uh, some of the employees would be um, said to like take a look about uh, how the website or the application is running for few days and if it's good then uh, we can move forward so then if uh, uh, it is uh, been like accepted by most uh, more of the employees then it moved towards the deployment part so uh, just uh, for uh, for knowledge we can see that uh, this in devops uh, especially i am talking about the devops uh, we have softwares like jenkins uh, which is used for uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, uh, which actually means like how automation is done that is why devops has been uh, has been like grown in these f few years only it acquires the automation procedure like before uh, every um, employee has to send their uh, code manually to the next phase so, uh, but after the um, coming of jenkins or travis ci and all these stuffs it becomes very easy and automation could be provided to all the um, phases and for testing uh, it usually is done by uh, selenium or catalon studio or protractor etc okay so and then it moves towards the deployment part where the deployment is done so basically deployment part we'll have to learn about the chef which is one of the popular for it ansible by red hat ansible and so build by red hat docker and kubernetes okay kubernetes so you get to know okay uh, so after that uh, after the whole movement we'll move towards the maintenance part and monitoring part so basically maintenance is just uh, whether the after the deployment of the website whether the uh, website is uh, like Min, uh, is like the login page or the registration page is working properly or not uh, whether the payment method is working properly or not uh, and all these stuff are done in maintenance part then then the monitoring part is also somewhat like that only and for that we uh, usually use uh, the amazon cloudwatch 
Amazon Cloud Watch. Okay. Amazon Cloud Watch. We use Datadog Prometheus, which developed by the Cloud Native Computing Foundation community, and then uh, so this is whole procedure how a software development uh, life cycle works as uh, if we take um, it as a whole. Okay, so after the combination of the development and operational team, so like I'll tell you about what how the met different methodologies come and how they evolved so basically uh, let's come to the first methodology which, which is the waterfall methodology so let's come to waterfall methodology um, so i have actually a diagram right down below how a waterfall methodology works so as uh, it is also called as the step by step methodology also because here uh, we move uh, to different stages that I have um, noted down above step by step only and also after all these steps are done then only we can move to back to if a bug is found move back to the development stage before that we cannot go at, from between only to uh, the development phase and this is mm, one of the disadvantage of this methodology due to which it takes many time and we all know that to make a software in this competitive world is uh, very much like competition itself so every uh, like client or the company requires to develop their software as fast as they can they also require quality product they require less uh, expenditure so there are two types of expenditure which is the capital expenditure as well as the operational expenditure so capital exp expenditure usually include all the uh, or like all the like for example the capital that you have buy the area you have buy to run that particular company or mm, that particular uh, whatever we say uh, the a ac to cool down all the web servers what all web servers you have buy and the operational expenditure is the expenditure which is required at when all these um, softwares are operation at the time of operational stuff like uh, uh, monthly bills of the ac for cooling and all these stuff okay so then uh, we and due to all the the as the waterfall methodology t took lot of time to like develop a particular software we move towards the agile methodology okay mm, so the main uh, base uh, basis of agile methodology was to like build a software in blocks which is the modification of waterfall methodology because in waterfall methodology we make mm, the app full application first and if there are bugs found then we again move to the development phase which would take many time Mm, then uh, in the agile methodology we create for like for example the diagram itself shows when if we have we have planned then we move towards the design phase we move towards the coding phase then um, at the end then we deploy and then we review if there are found bug then again we move towards the uh, designing phase the coding phase and all these stuff so this is done in a block ma block pattern and mm, so after that uh, uh, what was the uh, drawback of the agile methodology was because it was only working on the development part only it was not working on the operational part itself mm, so and also one uh, the second thing was that it was not providing the automation that was uh, then provided by the devops mm, the, uh, the automation such as uh, the all the after the planning stage and designing stage and the coding stage when it was passed to the testing phase uh, the employers it's themselves have to pass the product to um, the testing phase manually but after the like growth of the devops uh, then it was ma made automated and due to which the faster development was more uh, done so that is why most of you have uh, heard uh, your any teacher or your company head saying about like make software in agile way make so, uh, do in agile method and all this stuff they mean by this only to work in block by block manner okay so after that uh, we uh, this led to the development of devops which provided the automation uh, mainly the automation part which because other than that all of these stuffs were provided by the agile method methodology itself and was given in uh, as i have told about by the jenkins or the travis here um, whatever you so by this we can uh, see uh, the chart of the devops which is an infinity loop 
so we can now uh, get to know about how this whole cycle works yeah so it starts from the planning phase then it moves towards the coding phase then it moves towards the building phase then it moves towards the testing phase where all the tests are done then it moves towards the release so basically release is the integration part uh, where it is integrated to the deployment uh, after the deployment it is like monitoring maintenance is done which is the operational part and then it is monitored uh, monitored by uh, getting to know like how the cycle is working then if a bug is found then it we again move to the planning part so this is how a software development life cycle works just uh, some more points if i have to add are so here here i have written all the uh, software that are used in different phase like for development phase we are using the git and github for the build phase we are using the maven software for testing phase we are using the selenium there are other softwares uh, like um, catalon studio protractor etc which you can find on the internet and learn about them if you want uh, for the develop de deployment phase we have the chef uh, which is a popular the ansible by red hat uh, and docker and kubernetes uh, basically docker and kubernetes are not totally for development but for containerization and scaling up and scaling down of com uh, container as well uh, and then if we move to the amazon cloud watch for the monitoring and datadog and prometheus for the monitoring stuff so you can learn about it and i'll be making a series of where i'll be uh, teaching about how to use a git and how to post a repository uh, in on github and um, how to do push and pull uh, commit uh, how to like contribute in open source you can even contribute to the vlc media player the chrome you can even contribute to the linux kernel as well because all these stuffs are open source so yeah uh, let's uh, say goodbye to all of you and uh, happy learning thank you